your birthday is coming up so like this will be your second birthday in lockdown so not I, i'm not going to say that how you're going to i'm not going to ask you like how you're going to celebrate it but have your plans that's very sensitive yeah. to yeah. ask that yeah uh, my plans oh you know with the current situation kisi ka bilkul uh ye mood nahi hai ki celebrate kare par mere parents ke sath main baithunga sath mein i'm planning to cook the entire day's meals because i've really been enjoying cooking so i'm going to have the kitchen to myself and uh of course i'll have some help in cutting and chopping because i still need to get better at that i'm i'm good but i'm really slow with that so i'll have people help me but i'm going to cook the entire meal i'm going to cook a lovely kada prasad which is something i love very very emotional about that i'm going to cook uh, a thai meal for my family uh, apart from that um, we have a charitable trust so we are getting together with an ngo and we're going to be doing our bit to uh, help covid patients get beds oxygen cylinders and uh, uh, the supplies of the food and medication so that is something which is going to fulfill me my sister is going to be visiting me with uh, her husband nishant my sister sachi so we'll just spend some time together we are planning to watch a movie together <clears throat> after which um, i plan on uh, doing a nice workout because it keeps me happy and sane and i plan on doing my work just like every day my work and i have some readings with uh, a certain director and uh, i'm going to read a script so that's how i'm going to spend my birthday since we are talking about birthdays can you share one fond memory of your birthday celebration <coughs> from the past maybe anything uh, with your grandfather or something you know my grandfather and grandmother always made it a point that wherever they were in the world on my birthday they used to come back somehow and be with me there's not one birthday that's passed where i've not been with my grandparents and i love that <laughs> that they made every birthday of mine so special i remember this birthday we were uh, just like every year we used to go to an uncle's farm at mud island and we used to play all day and uh, play different kinds of sports and have the best time ever and eat the best biryani with kachumbar and some have the best time and then after that we used to go to the beach aksa beach mud island and play volleyball and just be so exhausted by the end of it that on the journey back we used to all be asleep so that used to be my birthday there was this time i was really upset because my grandfather and grandmother were in london shooting my uh, grandmother was accompanying my grandfather and they would not be able to come i was really upset and somehow they managed to come and they surprised me in mud island and my father flew down my grandfather flew down from london with my grandmother to come for a few hours just for my birthday and then he judged me some competition we had some football match and after that some fancy dress or something we did something really cute and childish and he judged that and uh, he sat with us on the bus journey back home we used to book this bus with all my friends and cousins and family members in it and my grandparents were with us and we had the most amazing time and i still remember he had gifted me uh, this beautiful green watch and i still have it with me it's so special uh, my dadi had gifted me a t-shirt and a pair of jeans a corduroy pair of trousers if i'm not mistaken so i still remember that was my ninth birthday i guess ninth or 10th not sure but that was that was one time i have beautiful crystal clear memories about I really miss those times. Really miss. Since you've already uh, talked about the gift which your grandparents gave you, uh, I was actually going to ask you the best birthday gift uh, ever you have received. So, would that be the same one, the green watch? It's a little tangential from your question, but I remember when I was twenty five, twenty five. i had gifted my parents a car on my birthday oh so that's interesting i 
I had managed to save up enough money uh, to buy this car, which my parents really loved. And I bought it for them on my birthday and I gifted it to them. And they said, we are supposed to gift you something on your birthday. And I said, no, this is going to give me so much joy. It doesn't matter who's gifting whom. It's just about the joy I need to feel. But my parents being my parents, they gifted that same car back to me. <laughs> so now I travel in that car. So it was a gift from me to them, but they said, no, no, it's too, it's too nice. And this is the car you need to travel in. We already have good cars. So you keep this car, we'll be so happy if you take it. And they didn't listen to me. They would not relent. They would not uh, relent at all. So now I use that car. So in, in some way, magically, it became my car. So yeah, that would also be one of the most amazing gifts. The car must be so special to you. It's very special because for the first one week or so, my parents used it and then they gave it to me. So it's a blessed car. And uh, do you have a birthday ritual which you follow every year? Anything? Yeah, we have a temple in the house where I really enjoy spending time and just meditating. And uh, my mother makes a very very auspicious and very blessed kada prasad. So I enjoy eating that after my lunch and dinner on my birthday. Usually I follow a diet, but on my birthday I let go a little. And uh, we usually call for this cake, which my father really likes. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's called a mango gato. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Okay, Food Hitlers will uh, be upset if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I think it's called the mango gato. Yeah, yeah. And uh, gato, right? Yeah, yeah. Mango gato. Thank God. And uh, apart from that, different uh, people from my family and my friends they give me like they send me some really cool cakes and get them along. This time, of course, no friends are going to be able to come over because of the lockdown. Just going to be family, but they are all planning to send some really cool cakes. So yeah, I cut a lot of cake. I eat a lot of cake. If someone's popping champagne, then I don't drink. But on that day, I make it a point to have some champagne with my family. And I like dressing up on my birthday. I like feeling special. I like looking my best. And uh, I, I enjoy a nice workout on my birthday. I enjoy meditating. So yeah, those are the things I'd like to do. And I, I talk to all my all my family members, my friends from all over the world. We do a Zoom call. Um, just like last birthday, I'll do a Zoom call with all my most special people. So yeah, that's that's what I think I'll do. I think that's the new normal.